Their entertainment. Complete control. Water. Air. The economy. Population and even human logistics. Will all fall within their purview. The goal? To acquire all the natural resources of the planet and bring them securely under government control. All activities of mankind will be monitored, accounted for, and controlled. Legislation pretending to address concerns about the environment. National security. And financial stability will in fact be used to erode the very foundations of liberty and to enslave the population. This will all happen in the name of security and progress. Alluding to the notion that this is all for our protection, this will not miraculously occur overnight with the sudden proclamation of martial law. It has been happening incrementally for at least half a century. Every law enacted that truncates the Bill of Rights in the name of national security is another nail in our coffin. Through this type of increasingly invasive legislation, the systematic decay of constitutional law becomes inevitable. Thousands of years of building and rebuilding, creating and recreating so you can let it crumble to dust. Leaving our essential rights neutered and impotent, the Bill of Rights is reduced to a quaint antique collecting dust in a library somewhere retaining all the potency of a fairy tale. Martial law, called a more politically neutral cash phrase, is practiced with an iron fist. The implosion of the economy has begun by design. The United States dollar is under attack and losing value every day. While the cost of living continues to skyrocket. New laws that will effectively double taxes are already on the books and ready to be implemented. Nothing has been introduced to help homeowners with their now default loans. But at the same time, money is generously given to bankers who give themselves huge bonuses. During one of the worst economic downturns in history and dry up loans to small businesses. All the while, the economy spirals downward at free fall rate. As the citizens of the United States lose their ability to take care of themselves, the government conveniently steps in to save the day. Capitalism gives way to socialism, and then without much notice, into the neo-dark ages of the one world government total dictatorship. Once this task has been completed and the control grid is firmly in place, they can play their final drum card. FEMA camps. And by design, we will welcome the salvation with open arms. As any alternative will surely seem like suicide. Once we've been properly enslaved, they gain control over the last of Earth's natural resources. Humanity. America, here's what you need to know tonight. I'm, you know, basically a rodeo clown. If you have any kind of fear that we might be headed towards a totalitarian state, look FEMA out. trailers, FEMA prisons, FEMA camps. I want proof. If they exist, I want pictures. I lost sleep last night worrying about this story, thinking about this story. But when I see, you know, 9-11 victim family on television or whatever, I'm just like, oh, shut Well, up. yesterday we talked about debunking conspiracy theories. The only thing that I answer to is myself. And I just want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and also sleep at night. Glenn Beck, a year and a half ago, said that Ron Paul supporters should be arrested and that the army should be used against them and that they were dangerous terrorists. Or that's what I'd have you believe. You know, it took me about a year to start hating the 9-11 victims' families. I don't hate all of them. I hate about probably about 10 of them. Any of these 9-11 truthers who I've been telling you for years are dangerous. Guy Fox. This guy was a, a British uh, terrorist who tried to overthrow the government by blowing up Parliament and killing everybody in it. Paul's supporters called the donations, and I'm quoting, a money bomb. It's really not the way I would go, you know, tying my movement in with a historical terrorist attack. You're right. Uh, there's a, a strain of isolationism 
and anarchy uh, in the American tradition, which uh, Ron Paul is tapping into. Uh, I think it's very significant that he chose Guy Fox. Uh, there are plenty of, unfortunately, libertarian websites which are indistinguishable from the anti-American left these days. Yeah. So, totally in bed with the Islamo-fascists um, and a turn against this country. Turn against this country. This country. This country. Where am I wrong? The Ron Paul Revolution. I think it's meant to be a catchy slogan, but I fear some of his fringe supporters are taking the word revolution too literally. What Glenn Beck is saying is a talking point being given out to the media. And this is going to drive the, the conspiracy theorists let the crazy pop me out. I have this. They're making me say this. Help. Because we were seeing Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity say it. We were seeing CNN hosts say it. We were seeing Joe Scarborough say it. And I said, that's a talking point. And then suddenly he started saying a few months ago, I'm going to expose the FEMA camps. If these things exist, that's bad, and we will cover it. If they don't exist, it's irresponsible to not debunk this story. We have an independent group of this program looking into it, turning over every stone. I am going to bring you this story. He announced a few weeks ago, I'm going to have popular mechanics, the yellow journalist, uh, on to debunk all of this. So I asked James from Popular Mechanics to do an investigation on several projects. The first one is the FEMA camp. Yes, and so we put a reporter on this, and what's so interesting here, we, we're, we're, we're waiting to really do a definitive deep dig on this. We don't right. like to just come out and say, oh, we've debunked it, you know, after we've looked at it for two right. days. And how is Glenn Beck debunking it? I have predicted tonight, we'll see if I'm right, that he will do a straw man and focus on the websites that are getting it wrong. And what we did was we looked into these claims. You know, you can't go and visit every one of the 600 sites that some of these sure. conspiracy theorists claim. So we started looking at the ones that are most popular the on biggest. the Internet. And I said, well, look out, folks. He's just trying to get your confidence to then discredit it later. We mailed letters to Glenn Beck. I know people that work in his office. I contacted him and I said, here's the proof. If he wants it, we stand by to work with Mr. Beck. If he isn't going to come out next week and say arrest all of us, basically, like he was doing a year ago. First of all, I, on the FEMA prison thing, I know we've been in contact with your office and we would appreciate any help that you have. I want to make sure we're turning over every stone on anything because there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of crazy stuff that is being said about these things. And Cause, you know, Beck says he's been doing months of research and they've been having trouble finding it. He's doing research. He can't ever bring any facts. And he makes little jokes about, ooh, the government's going to get me or, oh, I'm being censored on Fox and calls us conspiracy theorists. And I'm predicting Lynn Beck is going to attack us this way. They're going to show the 1990s video of the closed down Amtrak train system up by Chicago. So we started looking at the ones that are most popular the on biggest. the Internet. Okay. And let's show the video. First, show me the video that is on the Internet. This is uh, one of the so-called, I guess, a death camp. This is something where they're showing uh, a, a so-called concentration camp. These are turnstiles. Uh, this is in a secure behind the, the, the fence. I don't know how they got this video when it was behind the fence, but they went in and got this video. Like so many of these things, the truth is actually fairly evident. This is an Amtrak repair facility in Beach Grove, Indiana. The, uh, the, the woman who made this video initially claims that it's some kind of American Auschwitz and they've outfitted buildings with gas and they've got these strange turnstiles. In fact, it's, um, it is a repair facility. They're going to do that. And then what they're going to do is they're going to show the photos that are all over the web uh, in Mississippi and Louisiana of mock Bosnia Herzegovina slash Kosovo training camps, because the signs are in that you know Slavic language, where, where it has machine gun nest checkpoints, barbed wire as a refugee camp, and they send the troops through for drills. Um, show me the uh, pictures of uh, I think this is Camp Grayling, 
Do we have the picture of the watchtowers? This is pretty spooky. This is where Americans are currently being held, I believe they're saying. Well, people say all kinds of things, and these pictures have been floating around the Internet for more than 10 years. Okay. In fact, Camp Grayling is the largest natural, National Guard training facility in the U.S. They train Army, Navy, Marines, and uh, one of the groups they train is military police. And in fact, one of the, the functions they train them for is handling prisoners of war in uh, a battle zone like Iraq.